All right, everybody. I'm not Hog. I stole the dice, and uh, are you okay? Trying to kill me. I'm so sorry. Assassination <laughs> attempt. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Should I try that again? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm not Hog. I stole the dice, and uh, we're gonna talk about merch today. I made merch. I made it. That's that's why I'm talking about it and not Hog because I made it. So 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 to buy 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 the merch. <laughs> they were my ideas. Anyway, <laughs> as you probably know, I am Hog and Dice's wife, Red. My internet alias is Firestarter. You can find me almost everywhere under that name, and I am a digital artist. Hence, why I made the merch. That and being very good. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, we have, we have merch now. Hog and Dice has merch. You can find it on society6.com forward slash hog and dice. And you can buy the stuff. There are, there are stickers and there's t-shirts and tote bags and laptop sleeves and I think one of them even made it onto a f fucking cabinet. I don't know when they did furniture, but they do. And mugs. Stop stealing my job. Just let you're me not, just just let me do this. You're not allowed to have a job. You don't have a visa yet. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Buy the stuff. Cause money is nice in this capitalist hellscape. Buy the stuff. Good talk. I hope you enjoyed the announcement. You can buy our merch anytime you want on the website or on the Society6. In fact, you're better off going straight to Society6. Anyway, this is a table uh, extension. Uh, this is something we can take on and off. Basically, we just put it on when we're going to be playing board games or tabletop role play, that kind of thing. Just so you know, we have enough space for, for everything. And the rest of the time, we just took it in behind the couch because that's where it goes. Uh, I'm measuring the spars that make the frame that will go around the top of the actual table. What I'm basically doing is those spars will go on the outside of the outline I drew on the underside of the plywood and they will sit around the tabletop to hold the to hold the table extension in place. You you you'll see. You'll 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 get it. You'll figure it out as it goes. You'll notice I'm not actually holding any piece of wood underneath while I'm putting those screws in. Uh those screws are just going in so I know where it is I have to put them, which is why I've got the thing laid out next to them and all that. Just to, just to help me figure things out. That way I can line up the, um, the, the spars with the, um, with the screw holes in Of course, I, yeah. These are, rather than f having full spars on the ends, I decided that having four little kind of edges, or corner pieces rather, works better because the the more complete the, the ring around it is, the more, um, the more chance there is of fucking it up, and the worse the fuck up will be if I do fuck it up. So I figured having just a little corner would be better and it would hold it in just as well. And it does, so hooray. This table was a lot there was, there was a lot less haphazard than the than the, the backpack that I made. You may have noticed. Ah yes, okay, so I decided it was looking very plain, so I wanted to create a border. So part of the border is going to be made of Futhark runes. I'm going to be drawing them on first in charcoal, and then I will be burning them in with my pyrography tool.
because, like, if you're gonna have a gaming table, you gotta make it look magic. Is, is gotta look magic and mystical, and runes are fantastic for that. They're, they're ubiquitous for that. This whole process is very long, I might cut bits of it out. In fact, if I do that, you won't be hearing this. There, I fucked up a bit. I fucked up a bit while I was drawing it. I had to clean it off. Ah, alright, so the runes didn't cover the whole thing, so I'm doing the rest in Oum. Oum is a form of lettering from ancient Ireland that is kind of similar to runes. Um, it was usually carved in rocks, sometimes in wood. It is written from, written and read from the bottom up, rather than from side to side. Though, there are some very rare examples of it having been written in paper, going side to side rather than bottom up. But those are extremely rare. It is nearly always bottom to top. I decided to measure it out properly to make sure I could fill the entire border uh, with a regular appearing letter. So, yeah, the, the OM may look a little more evenly spaced out than the runes were. And now I'm burning them in. I made a slight mistake after uh, finishing this project in that I... While well, the thing that the... Well, the extension cord that the, 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 the wood burner was plugged into was switched off. I left the wood burner plugged in and on the couch and it ended up under a blanket. And, and now there's a hole burned in our couch and that blanket is ruined. And well, the wood burner was already broken. The, the tip had broken and part of it was still in it. So it needed to be replaced anyway. But, but yeah, that, that partially melted. So, remember to unplug your tools, kids. <laughs> no one was hurt. Nothing was badly damaged. It's just, just a blanket and the already fucked wood burner. So, nothing too terrible. We were, we were, we're probably getting rid of that couch at some point anyway. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hell, when we get rid of that couch, I can I get to skin it for its leather. I love skinning furniture to take the leather. Fun fact, I couldn't find the charcoal when I was drawing on the Oum. So I just used a pencil, which is why it's not showing up as well as the runes are. That thing I'm doing every so often, I've got the uh, the nail file bit of the Leatherman knockoff 
out and uh, I'm using it to clean up the tip of the burning tool every so often. Wood burning tools develop uh, coating on them after a while while you're using them and you, you need to grind it off otherwise it's going to affect the, the quality of your burn. And it's best to do it while it's still hot because otherwise while it's still hot it tends to be more flaky and more more liquidy and that makes it easier to take off if you let it cool first it will be it, it will affect the the life of the tip It'll, you'll grind more material off the working tip itself than you would if it was hot when you take the the scale off so it'll grind down and wear away faster if you do it when it's cold so it's better to do it hot and have something just on hand to clean it every so often what I used to do, and I should probably start doing again, was have a whetstone on the table that I could just brush the tip against every so often. And that worked really well. I'll probably start doing that again at some point. Oh, no. I'll get a whetstone. Blah. Right, so leather, leather. I decided the middle was looking very plain and boring, and I had scraps of leather upstairs in squarish panels. So I figured dark leather and bright metal uh, tacks to, to put it down probably look fine, probably look good. So that's what I did. Uh, one of the one of them was damaged at the end, and wouldn't have been long enough to, to cover all that I needed. So I cut it in a kind of curvy, almost ragged pattern. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have little designs coming out from underneath it. Like there's been some kind of corruption spreading across the board because I'm cool and extra like that. And I'm not a giant nerd at all.
Right, so I tried cleaning up the uh, the edge of that panel and I fucked it up and made it worse. So uh, I'm just cutting off the bit that I fucked up. Now, of course, that means that the other panel isn't like connecting with that panel anymore. So I have to move that back a bit. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm untacking it so I can move it back to meet up with the, the previous panel that had to be cleaned up. And because, because I had to move it back, the edge of it wasn't meeting the designs that I'd burnt into the table coming out anymore, and I couldn't correct that with the wood burner because it was broken. So blowtorch. The blowtorch is fixing that. Because why not? Why not? Just, just tacking the, tacking the rest of the pins back down. And yeah, um, just extending the design, making it look a little more ragged, a little more spread out and cool, and burning the edge of the leather as well to make it look like the leather's been affected by whatever's causing this weird corruptive feeling across the table. Just cleaning up the very edges, and yep, that's that's what the uh, that's what the underside looks like. nice thing about the table we started with is it already had that little underslun shelf so I can keep all of the books that we use in tabletop games under there and it's very nice it's, it's handy very handy just showing off the poem and the runes and the design and the charring oh the charring Obviously, some areas, some some parts of the edges are a bit rough because they have to be sawn. I, I want to do something about that. I'm not sure what exactly yet. I might try shaping them with my router. I might try putting something over them, like some kind of edging or something. I, I don't know yet. I'll come up with something. But for now, it's usable and workable, and it looks kind of cool, I think. What do you think? Do you think it looks cool? 